Christina wrote to me and she asked me to discuss this recent story of a man who died on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. after setting himself on fire and more broadly the increased number of self-immolations that have been going on. If you uh, first, let's get you up to speed on the story with this particular incident. NBC News is reporting that a man who apparently set himself on fire uh, at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. has died. A spokesman for the Metropolitan Police Department told NBC Washington that the man died around 9 p.m. a few days ago, Friday night. The man was not immediately identified because of the severity of his burns, but was eventually identified as a 64 year old resident of New Jersey named John Constantino. He was from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, an, attor an attorney representing his family released a statement saying that Constantino acted not out of political motives, as is often the assumption when it comes to self immolations, but rather as the result of a long battle with mental illness. Joggers actually who were passing by and saw Constantino on fire, ripped their shirts off and tried to extinguish the flames using their shirts during the incident, which happened at 424 p.m. on 7th Street Southwest near the National Air and Space Museum. Witnesses said that they saw the man pour gasoline on himself from a red canister and then set himself ablaze. Horrible, horrible story, Lewis. And, you know, I, I did a little bit of research into this rising trend of self immolation of people burning themselves, traditionally considered kind of a political method of protesting. And often when people are asked why they did it, there's there's some examples from France. Bulgaria, several other countries, of course, Tibet as well, but that has been more common in Tibet historically. And when it is for political reasons, a lot of times the self immolators tend to say that it is the only way they figured they could get attention. And, and they say, if I just held a sign because of whatever political problem I had, nobody would really pay attention. And this is the only way the ones who survive that they felt they were able to get attentions for them, uh, attention for themselves. Is this Lewis kind of like a broader reflection of culture and how people are expressing their dissatisfaction in the same way that we've discussed that deciding to acquire and commit violent acts with a gun may be something that now comes to people's minds when they say or realize they may not be saying it explicitly. I am dissatisfied with my life. I'm dissatisfied with my position in society and I'm going to take out that dissatisfaction by doing a mass shooting, for example. Is the self immolation in your mind something similar or is there something in particular that makes it different? I mean, other than the fact, the obvious fact of the logistics, which is the self immolation typically does not hurt anyone else. Right. I'd say that's pretty much the key difference. And I don't know if I were to guess at the thought process. I mean, I would say that these people who want to conduct mass shootings also uh, have decided that they don't feel the need to live any longer, except these people have some serious ill will. These are malicious people and they want to take people out with them. Uh, I guess when you're self immolating, you think you have nothing left to live for and you want your your last message to be a powerful one. Except I think that the one difference there might be that with the case of in both cases, we may be, we may have people that for for whatever combination of reasons have decided it's not worth living anymore. However, rarely do we really get very specific activist type messages from those who are doing the shootings, whereas more often the self immolators seem to be doing things for political reasons. Yes, sometimes the shooters say they're angry with the government or whatever, but really it's more of a reflection of broader dissatisfaction with their own lives. That could very well be. Yeah. I mean, I, from the point of view of the uh, Tibetan self emulators, I mean, I understand their plight. I see what they're going for there, but I do have a hard time wrapping my brain around uh, ending your life in such a way to get your message across. In this particular case, as we said, John Constantino, just the result of mental illness, not a political message.